Oh Lord. Dad might have asked you already, how many pounds per acre do we plant this seed at? Um, it's recommended 25, no lower than 20. Okay. I don't know why I haven't thought about this until today, but this wide son of a gun, I don't know if that's going to fit through our gate. Oh, yikes. We got about 15, 20 acres that we want to drill today. And we're also starting with corn. We got a little spritzer of rain yesterday. It was a small amount. Plus, we don't think we really have beans that are perfectly ready. I, there's some places in the field we could get, but not the whole thing. So we're going to try on corn. We got this field that looks super dry, and the stalks look pretty kind of weak. So we want to get that out before, you know, maybe another storm, windstorm or whatever comes and knocks that over. So we got to get this set. Dad's grabbing an auger. He's grabbing Big Red from over at Jeff's. It's hard to set your rates when you don't have a book. I uh, just chewed out our Crust Buster dealer and it turns out I had it. No, I just giving him a hard time. Jerry, where's the book? Kind of some big news. My mom's kind of halfway retiring. She's a home loan originator. So her job's open. Well, my girlfriend from Iowa applied for it and she got it. So I guess she's moving closer, about two hours closer. So I gotta put up with her more now. So what we got here is something called a pasture fix mix. It's got some ryegrass, some brome, another type of ryegrass, a fescue, and a timothy. Timothy. So we're gonna be interseeding that in a pasture. It's poor quality. We always have, we gotta put less cattle on it. Just doesn't produce very well. We're hoping that this seed in here will turn out better. Give those cattle a little more food. 20 to 25 pounds per acre. We'll start chucking these bags out. Oh man, these bags are heavy. They're like 80 pounds each. That's a big old auger right there. And he's climbing the stairway to heaven. I spooked the heifers. Sorry, girls. <sighs> I gotta go grab the cone. This was Dad's Christmas gift last year. Isn't he lucky? That's a ways up there. Thumbs in my eye hole. Hmm, that sucks. How's that? I am well pleased. This is a hundred thirty dollar cone. If you lean over my shoulder, I'll carry you like a sack of potatoes down. <laughs> Do, no, it. I don't Do it. Do it. Do it. So now the nine hundred pound PTO shaft on that thing. We need to wrestle that on. Okay. So we got big news. Good news or bad news? Yeah. Tiffany got the job. That's big news. I don't have to drive. Two and a half hours anymore. <laughs> That's wonderful. Is that, she excited? that just shows you how awesome I am. No. Because we're not even engaged and she's already moving closer. That just shows that how committed she is and how good she is and what a good person well, she is. Quit making her sound awesome, make me sound awesome. Okay, let's do that. I'm a big deal. <laughs> Arrogance isn't a good virtue though. <laughs> Do you think her parents are crying right now because she's leaving? I bet I just popped in my head a fiesta. There's <laughs> she's gone. She's, she's got gone. yeah, they're like gone, dancing. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Dad, now to ruin your ex your happy, excited mood. What'd you do? Do you think that drill's gonna fit through that sixteen foot gate over there to get to the pasture? Yes. I don't know, man. Yes. <laughs> okay. Put seed in there, spin the wheel 29 times. Yeah. And then we catch it and weigh it and hope to God that we get it right that first time because it catch stuck. It and weigh it and pet it. Is that what you mean? Yes. <laughs> yes. There you go, he says, when I did it. That was his. 
that was his contribution, was him telling me, there you go. Yeah. Encouragement is very valuable. This is my weak arm. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You have seen the hole? Which one's your month arm? Okay. One. Ah. There it is. What do you think about the sound of this? Bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffin. <laughs> no, I just wish one would be, hey, in a couple weeks, the intern could bring us one because she's... <laughs> Look what I did, and look what you did. I put those little white strips in the bag, so that's half as much bending over. Hmm. That explains why I got done dumping the bags before you. But it also explains why you get to clean up your half, and I'll clean up my half. Even better. I got your bags, Paul. Not all of them. Do some drilling. There ain't no way that thing's fitting in the gate. We're gonna have to also get the depth right and just make sure everything's working good. Down pressure's right, getting in the ground. We have a little moisture in the top. Hopefully that'll be enough to make it easy to get the slot openers in the ground and, and get this stuff germinated. Oh golly. Yeah. <laughs> be worse coming out. I reckon. We could leave it here. Sell it? Yeah. They yeah, gotta deal with it. Yeah. I'm pretty surprised we made it. We're gonna be rubbing. Woo! How about it? Snap. This pasture here, how long has it been since it had cattle on it? A good oh, month, yeah, right? I suppose. And it's had probably close to three inches of rain since then. Yeah, but it was extremely dry to start with. Yeah. You can see we got about five inches of skinny growth, and it just does not turn out well. And it doesn't support the cattle very well. And so that's what we're trying to fix. With the what? With the seed. What's the seed called? Uh, it's a pasture fix mix. Fix mix. Fix mix. 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 That there, fix mix. Fix mix. See that big rock over there? Yeah, that big rock? Yeah, don't drill over there. Okay. okay. Alright, we're done. Now we gotta check depth. Come on, quarter inch. Hey, we're somewhat close. That ain't terrible. We were told quarter inch to half inch, quarter inch is better. We're drilling. That's a big old rock. Try not to slap you. What the heck? Yeah. That chain fell off. I'm glad you're here. What do you think? Oh, you yeah, plant the yeah. seed in the earth, Paul. I, uh, that's what we do. I think we're pretty fortunate to get set that close. So. Okay. I don't know if we have enough seed. That's a big area. Not quite sure what the issue is. A lot of these teeth getting chewed? Yeah, kind of. We've gone about 200 feet. And you can see... These teeth just kind of wore hard. They've been chipped or something. I don't know what's going on. But you can see this is trying to ride up 
and fall off. It's like not in line or something. There's something funky going on and I don't know what it is. I'd give a thumbs up, but it's really not going that well. I was just about to say it's working good and then it starts climbing again. It's supposed to be a nice leisurely drill in the green grass. That chain just keeps wanting to fall off. Switch the sprocket around. Uh, this is frustrating. It's bumpy, we're going, and I'm gonna have to stare back there to make sure these chains keep spinning and it keeps metering out seat. There's one really nice thing about auto steer. Instead of worrying about steering, I can basically stare back here and then make sure that keeps running and then run into a tree on this side. There's some big ditches and some trees. Shrubbery. Just a few obstacles, but hopefully we'll make this pasture a little bit better. Dad's gonna hop in the combine and try some corn and see if that's ready to go. Things are going decent. Says we've done, for some reason it says we've done 95,000 miles. I think I'm reading that wrong, I don't know. Make sure everything's metering out right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, looks fine to me. Make sure there's not one in particular that's like, oh, let's just throw all the seed out, because that happens. be about half done. Haven't had an issue since dad left. Is that a coincidence? Now uh, that chain's holding on and it's, I don't know, I'm sure we're wearing on something. I'm not entirely sure what the issue is. So I'm sure by now dad's starting that cornfield, seeing if the moisture's right. And if it's not, we'll probably go try a bean field. We do have one that's pretty dang close, but this corn that we're trying, the stalks are pretty limp. They're pretty small and the field looks really dry so it'd be nice if we could get that off so we don't have to worry about it falling down if we get a big wind it's actually a little water in the dugout more than we had in june and july and august Almost done. Oh, Lord, Hammers. We we're dragging a tree. Just trying to get everything I can. Hopefully that there pasture fix mix fixed that there pasture there. So it looks like Dad bent the absolute heck out of that thing. Hopefully we can get out of here. Oh! Hey, we got it. Nice half inch rain would be real good for that. The corn is running on under 15% moisture, which means it's go time, baby. I gotta eat lunch yet. 
I'm looking a little, what's the word? Famished? Gaunt? Yeah, I need some food. Gant. It's gant, isn't it? Let's do some kern. Goal is to get that thing down in that hole. Pretty dang close. How about that for a first try? Just gotta pull ahead a little bit and it'll be good. I see Jeff's just pulling in. Oh! Oof. Oil leak. Our thing which will be very frustrating if it doesn't work. The wheels and the electric motors on the swingway auger. You know, last year it didn't work the best and now it just sat for nine months, 10, 11, 12 months. I guess we'll find out. I am not sure which one it is, so we will bring all three. And that could also be a battery not working in one of these. That's not a good start. Okay. business. What are you yelling at me about? It is brown. Some of these do have some green on them. Look how hard they dented. Yeah, they just ran out of they ran out of stuff, you know, water. See right there that just dented in real hard. Alrighty. I'd say that stuff looks harvest ready. We're on a weird hill here. Corn's running, I'd say it's average. It's averaging a tickle over 15%. Well, looks like the neighbor's going on corn. A lot of harvest going on right now. Ah, there is one steep trench. Woo! Tossed around like a rag doll. Dag, nab it, that's a deep trench. Jeff is back. is moving fast. Let's go home. Eat some roast. What do we got? Just fog lights on this thing? Nope. Doesn't even look like their own. Well dad, what did we do today? Not much. Things and stuff. Just we got 80 around. acres of corn done. We did some drilling. Drilling? Yeah. Drilled some holes. And now, we get to do it all over again tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed watching today's video. We got the good life. Yeah. My knee's feeling pretty good. That's because you sat on the tractor all day. All right, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Goob? Did you say goob? What's this got in it, though? Seed. Specifically, grass seed. I'm confused. It says, Climax, Timothy. Is that a command? <laughs>